Nice. What's this? Hello. Hey. Hi. Welcome back. Everybody's been waiting for this no, moment for too. so long. Me too. My me too. You yeah. too? Hey, Mo, what's going on? Good. What do you think of Mom's new truck? Good. It took a while. Yeah. We had to do some minor tweaks. We had to go back and go through the transmission again. We dun, had a little dun, bit dun, of uh, dun, dun. not rework to do, just better understanding. There of the she is. And this is Miss Candy. Miss Candy. You want to? Do you want to show off what you know about your rig? Well, I can show. Yeah. I can we don't show have it to off. show it. They... Tell you. You go ahead. Let me Enjoy know. Enjoy the sound of my voice. Yep. Okay. So inside we have our motor is a forty turn. That's yep. why you put RC sparks on there. <laughs> well, RC sparks just goes on every rig it we does. have, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice hey. shoulder shot. Mo, guess what? <laughs> Did you know that my motor is a Tekken hand wound motor, forty turn? It's pretty awesome. It's a it has a manual switch on it. Yeah. Oh, that's my winch that's a manual switch. Uh -oh. I'll run off the same what? battery. Don't look at my cue cards! <laughs> I've got a dual winch, which has a manual switch on it. Yes. And my tires are one nines, Did... pit bull, rock beasts. Nice! <laughs> nice job! Well, I always remember the tires. So, I heard in there, if I heard correctly, you had a manual winch? Yes, I do have a manual winch. So... Why those... did you go a manual? For a few reasons. Yes, why? How we tie it into the truck, how we how we power it. Right, and I didn't have a extra remote switch for it yet. Well, we didn't <laughs> want to disclose our secrets. <laughs> okay, so over here, okay. uh, the dual motor winch. Uh, I actually picked this up when I was in Hong Kong at uh, Max's uh, hobby heavy. store there. Yeah, it's an actual cable on there. A lot like the RC four-wheel drive Xeon yeah. winch I saw. Right. Uh, here is your manual switch right here. So yep. forward and backward, and it's tied into the battery. with Direct to the battery. Direct to the battery. It works really fast. One thing I noticed in this yep. one, obviously, yep. I've seen in other winches, you know how sometimes sure. it hand ties it in for you nicely? Like it all lines it up for you. This one doesn't. So just yep. be mindful when you are re-rolling this up. On the fair lead, do you mean? Yeah. This is a fair lead right here. Yeah. On any winch, mm -hmm. you always got to make sure that it's going yeah. back and forth properly or it'll get really fat in the middle. That's what happened to my last winch. And I used it once and it was totally busted because I was a new to it. And, and it was it was one of the original yucky winches. On the switch winches. was like underneath. I felt yeah. like I was having to take it out for I dinner. I remember right awful. on the control board. And yeah, we will get you a, um, a remote yeah, control no, for no it. No rush for now. Yeah. This is the stock bumper mm -hmm. that came with it uh we just modified the front cut it off there and uh mounted it strongly Shall on I turn around? yeah show off uh, uh. man that candy uh the the yeah. thanks to our buddy rob for doing that that was a huge help out yeah rob at decalit decalit uh decalit yeah it just depends on where you're from it but sounds fun like it's a decalit I love it. It's too bad the, mm -hmm. the sun's behind a cloud right now because you get that dual color, like the black yeah. on chrome. And I noticed that you did not go with the uh, chrome rims that we saw in the yep. build video. You went with like a vintage Proline beadlock, it looks like. Yeah, it makes you kind of want to uh, buff up my tires, but I'm not going to because well, it's yeah. dusty out here. But with the clean black tires, I like the black look. It's just like a nice black dress and a nice black pair of heels. So, so no mirrors. No mirrors, not yet. Not yet. Well, I haven't decided yet. It's my rock crawler. I'm probably going to roll it a few times. Mm -hmm. And what's first to go? Mirrors. Insurance. You don't right. want to pay the deductible on that. That's just a crazy thing to put on in real life. So yeah. why bother doing it in scale? One thing I noticed about it is that we had some rough uh, gear mesh going yeah, on in the differentials. That in the beginning of the, of the film. Yeah, the but, film. yeah. So we shimmed the uh, we shimmed the actual pinion gear in the yeah. differentials uh, where the drive shaft attached, and it seems to have helped them line up yeah, even better. Yeah, we took it halfway around the track, rolled it around the grass. And yeah. She rolls really, really well, and I'm excited to bring Miss Candy out. Okay. Shall we take her to the scale park? Okay, let's do this. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Got some wheel speed. Do you think Pinky's jealous right now? You know, some might say, but I'm not one of those women who deals with petty jealousy. <laughs> and and it's an RC. Dude, so. in the garage, it's fine. <laughs> I know, you're excited. We're excited too. All right, all lined up at the gate for her first attempt at the seesaw. Or teeter-totter, depending on where you're from. Now, Jem has to get all four tires lined up and that big bumper over the weight chain. It's a counterweight. Looks like she's got it. Good job, first attempt, back tire. Yeah. 
good. So I put another supporting beam on this uh, teeter-totter, as you can see, for the wider rigs. It's very helpful when you do that. Yeah, especially because it's a bit, um, the, the ramp is a bit twisted itself just from the wood we used, which adds for an extra challenge. Jim, going to try and find the counterweight point here. The standard. There we go, the tip in the back. Coming down to the side like hill area. It though, hey? Yeah, it's perfect. Good job. So much shadow today, but it's just the time of day we're filming, but getting you up close, you can see that cotton candy pink. Very striking. Oh, oh, oh! oh burns like, it! You can see under my dress! Ah. Ah. <laughs> Good luck. We can get up the side hill area. Like I was saying, it is on an angle uh, and it is made with quite old wood that's very slick and slippery. So here, these pit bulls, she knows to take it on the outside edge here. There's a huge hole at the top on purpose, all covered in spider webs. Yeah. I won't forget my note, that's good advice. There we go, this is another roll point, but it looks like she got it. Nice balance. Very the nice. Seesaw, you might not get it, but you learn lots from it. Yeah, well, hey. This course is built to be difficult, it you know. It is super difficult. Yeah, I like the challenge. Hey, Mo, I need an answer from you. Yeah. The yellow path or the, or the gray path? Oh, yellow path. Yellow path? Gray path. Okay. She's going to go yellow for articulation. Look, Excuse me, folks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I go on or side you okay. go on. Okay, we're going to have a chance to race up here. Oh, careful. You want your balance? There you go, on all fours, just like the truck, bud. Who's gonna get up there first? I love it. Oh! <laughs> you can do it, Mom. <laughs> can do it. Morris is hustling here. Mom's gotta line up her truck. Nice job. Higher and higher. You're right on par. Now here's where we built this to actually make it yeah. flex. Tricky. Yeah. Especially on. Okay, I'll show you. I'll come up there. You wait for me. It's offset so it twists the yeah. truck as well as makes the suspension articulate. Slow is the rule. Yeah, slow. As slow as possible, <laughs> as fast as necessary. Yep. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Got some tire slidage. No one saw that. No one saw it. It's like Julia Child. <laughs> if it drops on the floor, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Bringing it up to the top. Oh, Mo, nice job. It. Uh oh, no, she didn't. Uh oh, Mo, she's in trouble. She's oh, in trouble. Who needs a nice when you job. Got a -year -old? That's right. Huh. The log ramp. I'm not going to compete with Mo on this one because he's got it going down this thing. Yeah, he runs down. So there's no point in watching me lose. So some of these branches are attached, some, some of them aren't. aren't, yeah. And it's a surprise when you find out that some of them aren't because some of them that look like they should be, it's just a crazy course. I see. We have your hitch on there. I wonder if we're going to uh, hang up coming up Tire Mountain here. Oh, nice tip, but she didn't roll over at all. What do you think, Mo? Good. Good, eh? I like the um, acceleration. It's kind of delay, but it goes on nicely. I know you did an adjustment for me on my controller. Yep. That was a lovely adjustment I'm noticing in this crawling endeavor. And you don't seem to be getting hung up too much yet. No, I thought the bumper for sure as I say that right here's now. Here's the test, yeah, and here's the secret about this area. It's either this inside or on the outside. In the middle is very high, but she's attempting it anyway. I bet you a little bit of wheel speed. If you back up and hop, you can make it. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty steep in there. Some of my rigs, some of my best rigs have a hard time here just because of all the weathering. <laughs> yeah, shake that rump. <laughs> What's up? Oh, what? You got a mushroom? Cool, dude. Do not eat it. <laughs> so you dug yourself a hole there. 
this will be quite challenging. You might want to try this side even. Maybe, maybe we get to see your winch in action. <laughs> there you are. There you are. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! A little hop to my advantage. Nice. Advantage candy. Everybody in close for the action here. Look at this. Clears it. Dude. Nice job. Knuckles that. Babe, I built this. <laughs> I built this truck. Coming down the other side with some steep drops, You're not like, too bad. I what? Crawl all over it. We should actually have turned on the water system. We got that hose, oh that God, soaker like hose. Contest, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's most, soaker hose. Most of our viewers are agreeing right now. <laughs> yeah, they're all like, why do we not add that at 1358? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, on the front diff. Yeah, you can go in the center here. Mm. Crawling well. Crawling well. It is crawling well. I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah, it has nice presence. Yeah. I would agree with your assessment. Oh, you're going to try the beams. Yeah, I was thinking. Nice job. Well, you know, it's not an RC adventure without trying something. <laughs> Balance beams. Yeah. Love the tire flex. The old school nice bead lock. I love bead locks. Mm. People ask me that all the time online, and my answer will always be I love them. They're just much more sophisticated than a. Well, you don't have to worry about getting oh. sloppy tire glue. You can always switch out the rubbers if you want, you know. Yeah. I love the versatility of them. They're just awesome. Yeah. Nice climb. You totally nailed it. So it is doable, it just takes a lot of finesse. Yes. And a bit of wheel speed. And try to run one of the outside limbs. If you can get there. Yeah, very nice. There you go, speed. Yeah. Didn't have enough inertia there. There you go. Oh! oh but I landed! <laughs> All fours, babe. Good job. <laughs> oh, I can't get over it, just how well you get over it. All right. <laughs> Finesse. finesse. That was full of finesse, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fun. It's a great go. truck. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled and thrilled. Yeah, it looks good. It would look good in a good, um, in a, oh, no worries. <laughs> in a group trail crawl, this I would agree. stick out nicely. Just like it should. That's great. I'm happy. This was a fun build. You did it. Fun experience. It's done. And we're back to the Coming end. back to the finish line. Yeah, she looks great in the sunlight. Next time we're going to have to get you on the rock park. Did you have fun? I loved it. It was awesome. Good, good job. How did you enjoy my maiden voyage? It was very good. I think that the truck was performing pretty darn awesome. Yeah. Um, and, you know, other than the winch needing to be uh, done to a remote, yeah. um, you know, I think the truck is pretty capable from what I saw today. Yeah, I'm thrilled. I'm so happy. Thanks for joining me on this awesome, <laughs> awesome adventure. It took a while. Yeah. It was patience and it, I treated it like a hobby. I did it in my spare time. Which so, a lot of it. So would you suggest RC to other ladies uh, or partners or, yeah. yeah? I would. I mean, it does take a it's It's like cooking or baking. I mean, if you can do that, then you can do this. Was it frustrating for you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> does it take a lot of work and maintenance? Yes. And you have to, you don't have to learn the terms for it, but yeah. you have to learn how it works. How it works. Yes. I, I don't need, I need to know that my flux capacitor and my thrombus dibulator don't go together. But right. But they don't. No. <laughs> Hey, hey listen, me. yeah, you. yeah, I, I really appreciate you showing off your truck today and going out on a limb. It's totally, we've never done it before never. with you uh, on the show. Nine years, never done it. You know, so high five on that, baby. Good job. Thanks a lot. Yes, Guys, here we go. We hope you're inspired to go out and try the hobby of radio control. It truly is a great thing to have mm -hmm. with your partner uh, or even on your own. Go out, meet some new people. Get We're out, always... Sunshine always trying yeah. to to show people that you can go out and have fun with rc 
Until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. <laughs> thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.